Is this the 21st century's new sport? That's how organizers of the Electronic Sports World Cup competition describe video gaming. And there are plenty of people here in Montreal who agree. The best professional players, or cyber athletes, have been competing for days in mixed team as well as a females-only final before enthusiastic fans. Cindy Sherwin reports. Electronic sports is professional video gaming, and its popularity has exploded in the last five years. Hundreds of millions of fans and players and, you know, people are involved. For the second year, Montreal is hosting the largest free gaming festival, and today they're going for the cup. For these people right now, here and worldwide, this is the Stanley Cup. 27-year-old Sean Garris from Southern California poses for picks with fans. He's part of a five-member team and debunks any stereotype of gamers out there. I got my degree in medicinal biochemistry. He plans to go back to school eventually. Yeah, it's, I mean, you only get the shot once in your life, obviously, to travel the world, play a video game for fun. Those who are good can compete full-time and make a good living. The post-game interview is added value for the more than 100,000 fans who watch online. The main thing for me is just to win. Honestly, like I'm such a competitor that it's my one outlet as far as like my competitive side can have, and I need to do it pretty much on a daily basis to, to be able to get that feeling of winning. A similar take from gamer Stephanie Harvey of Montreal, who also works as a game designer for Ubisoft. Basically like a sport, so we're basically playing hockey here. More and more women are getting involved, though the women say online misogyny and harassment is rampant and disturbing. There's been like attacks to my internet connection, my, you know, and some of my friends have been like squatted at home where people like call the police on them. She says leaders in the gaming world need to speak out. I'm really involved in the, into this uh, charity called Cyber Smile uh, against cyberbullying because I know that it's part of my life every day um, and I don't want it to be part of anybody else's life. It's hard to miss that all these games feature automatic weapons, but the gamers say it's really all about the competition. I really don't like weapons. <laughs> it's really not my thing, but I love the teamwork and the strategy. And winning. Cindy Sherwin, CTV News.